with that solid relationship, it's almost like an iron wall. Your competition is not going to get through. Welcome back, all my followers, the Strategic Selling Group particularly. Glad to have you with us. And again, we have Joanne Black. Hello, Joanne. Hi, John. Jo uh, Joanne, as you'll know by now, surely is, is the foremost authority on referral selling. Uh, and I've got a curly question for you that's maybe or maybe not related to referral selling. I'm hearing a lot of people writing about how sales is changing, and I know it's changing quite dramatically. But a lot of people are actually saying sales is going to become obsolete. Sales people particularly are going to be obsolete. There'll be different approaches to selling that companies will use and, and will eliminate, particularly in, in the B2B world, eliminate sales people. What do you think about that? If you sell a commodity and something very inexpensive, yes, you have a lot to fear. But those of us who focus on complex sales with multiple buyers, we have nothing to fear because here's what happens. We know that our customers, our competitors, everybody researches us before they ever talk to us, right? That's right. All right, they get all this information, but that is knowledge. That's not experience and not insights. You only get insights and experience from having a conversation with a salesperson. And knowledge is the baseline but it doesn't take us in a complex sale. We need to know way more than that. Right. And people don't read, or they just read headlines. So here's what's happened. Forrester did a report that said one million B2B sales jobs will be obsolete by 2020. I read that report. You read it. And what did you take away from it? Uh, I took away that we all need to rethink a lot about the way in which we're selling because mm -hmm. if we are not creating value for our customers in the conversations we're having, independent of our product and company, then they won't want to talk with. They can get everything they need other than that, as you say, the insight and the experience that we can bring to the table, the experience we've got with our other customers and so on. Mm -hmm. Then we can put value, value on the table. So we need to change. I'm not so sure we need to change because here's the other part of that report. Was hidden a little bit at the bottom? Mm-hmm. It's said that salespeople who have complex sales, to your point, who add value, who have the right conversations, who deliver insights, those sales jobs will increase by 10%. I think we're saying the same thing. Yeah, they, they will increase. For those that aren't doing that and they want to survive, they need to get in that camp. They do, or their jobs will be eliminated, and rightfully so. I mean, with all the technology we have, that that's one of the reasons people say salespeople will be obsolete because we have robotics, we have artificial intelligence, we have predictive analytics, and we need to rely on and believe all of that. Now, I do believe it. I do, I do believe in predictive analytics. I was very questioning at first, but I've talked to a lot of people and mm -hmm. heard them speak and read about it. Those are just gems that we need to take advantage of. But then the question is, what do we do with the data? Yes. And, and if, we, if we can't bring insight through that data, then we're not adding any value at all. Yes. It's about interpreting the data and knowing then what to do with it. And experienced salespeople who deliver insights will know what to do with that data. And Joanne, in my experience going back 30, 40, 50 years, showing my age, the really good salespeople did that even back then. They may not have had access to the level of data they've got, but they were able to bring insight and thinking to the customer about the customer's business and how the customer can improve the way they do business, independent of the product they were selling. The product sort of came down through underneath all of that, but they were creating value for the customer. The top salespeople, and to survive in the future, the only salespeople all need to do that. Well, you're right, and I'll take you back as well when... <laughs> <laughs> Don't take me back too far. <laughs> I'll take you back in my life that as, a, as an account executive selling to named accounts, my job was to get information. Well, then how did you do it? There was only one way before the Internet. You called corporate communications, and they actually mailed an annual report. Yes. That was it, which meant when you went in, you needed to know the questions to ask. You never said, what's keeping you awake at night? Dumb question, right? 
but you were able to have a conversation. You, you were. And the other thing, of course, you brought with you a depth of knowledge and experience from your experience with all your other customers. Yes. And, and most customers are facing similar challenges. So you saw how somebody else addressed a challenge. So when you see that challenge identified through an annual report or by talking to people in an organisation, you brought insight to the table and value, helped them through a thinking process that would help them address the challenges they've got, solve solutions for them and so on that's what top salespeople need to do. You're not selling a product. You're not selling feature, function, benefit. You're creating value for your customer through the conversation you have with insight and experience. Also, I want to give you a simplistic example. It's about developing the relationship, mm -hmm. developing that trust. Now, years ago, I'm going back even farther than I go back. My uncle was a pharmaceutical salesman calling on local pharmacies. And it was a small town. Everybody knew everybody else. Mm -hmm. So he spent, oh, maybe 25, 40 minutes talking about how are the kids, what's going on, how's the fishing, all of that, five minutes to write the order. Mm -hmm. But if he didn't have that relationship, that never would have happened. With that solid relationship, it's almost like an iron wall. Your competition is not going to get through. If you liked, trusted, then then you, you and once you're in that sort of position, then obviously you do lock out the competition. Yes. Not too, too many people can have that relationship with the customer. That's right. Okay. So the answer to my question from what you just said is sales roles, there will be a lot of sales roles that do become obsolete. Any, any sales role that is not adding value to the customer by bringing insight and experience to the table and helping them through a thought process is probably going to become obsolete in the future. Yes. Technology is going to take over. Other processes are going to take over. How, if you want to survive as a salesperson, you need to hear what we're saying here, and that is you need to bring yourself up to a new level of communicating and having conversations with insight and value through those conversations, or you'll become obsolete. Yes, and I say for sales leaders, what's really important is that they know how to interpret the data to deliver to their salespeople, whether they do the research or not, because that is going to be critical. So they know how to go forward, how to have the conversation. That's and, and, key. And they need to coach thoroughly on that because it needs to become part of the understanding of the salesperson and their behavior in the way they talk to customers. That's right. It's a big change a lot of people need to go through. Or not. Or not. <laughs> Yes. Exactly. So thank you, Joanne, and thank you to the audience. Hope you got lots of value out of that. I'm going to get Joanne back a few more times yet, and we're, we're really going to cover a number of subjects like this. I'm looking forward to it, Joanne. Thanks, John.